What's going on? Today I am going to do an updated walk around video of my 2015 Jeep Wrangler JKU here. The last time I did a walk around video was 2021 and that was prior to my one ton axle swap. Uh, there's been a lot of changes in the meantime so I figured this was a good time to make an updated video. If you want to see more about this Jeep, follow me on any social media at Yeller Life. I'll also show all of the things that Nick and I have hand built for this Jeep as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe while you're here and let's go on with the walk around. As I stated, this is my 2015 Jeep Wrangler JKU. It has the 3.6 liter Pentastar, the automatic transmission, and I put a four to one Rubicon transfer case in it. All right, I guess I'm just gonna start from the front and I will just walk you through all the parts that are on it. Front bumper was hand built by Nick and I. It's a Yeller Fab custom front bumper. My winch is a worn VR10S with a Factor 55 Fairlead. And then this is the Freedom winch line. That is just my flag mount here. For headlights, I have the KC Gravity LED headlights. Now my front axle is a Dana 60 out of a 2013 Ford Super Duty. I have 538 gears and an ox locker, but as you can see, the ox locker is not wired in. Uh, I just have the driveway lock in it, so it's kind of just permanently locked for the time being. For steering, I have the Artec high steer knuckles. Uh, I believe this aluminum tie rod was from Barnes, and then Nick and I custom made the track bar and drag link with DOM and just Himes. I have the PSC Big Bore Hydro Assist steering kit. The PSC RAM I am running is the 8 inch RAM. I feel like I could go with the bigger one and put stops in it, which we may do in the future, but for the time being, I have the eight inch one. And as you can tell, Nick hand cut this little skid to protect my PSC Ram, and it has done a great job at protecting it. And then my frame side track bar mount is from TMR Customs. I also have the Nick Barna's ball joint eliminators here. Now for suspension, I just have my old two and a half inch AEV lift, which uses Bilstein shocks, I have the locked off-road bump stops, which are awesome. And then I have a four link set up up front. We did custom build my control arms with Johnny joints, but the frame side control arm brackets are from Hepta Manufacturing. I run Adams 1350 drive shafts and I have the Artec aluminum skid plate. As you can see, it's well loved. These here are my Yeller Fab custom rock sliders. Nick and I built these last summer. For tires, I am running the X-Comp 42 inch tires. And then these are my 17 inch trail ready bead locks. Coming around to the back, this is my Yeller Fab custom license plate holder and my Yeller Fab rear bumper. My rear axle is a 14 bolts out of a 2004 Chevy. Again, 538 gears, and then I have a Yukon spool back here, and then the crane diff cover that makes this shaved to a 13 bolt. I'm running the Yeti Steer Smart track bar back here, and then just a modified version of the factory sway bar. I have no sway bar in the front. I've never felt that I needed a sway bar in the front on my Jeep. And my suspension is a three link back here. I am running the MCE plastic fenders that I love. We did build these shock hoops for the rear, which I have a lot of people ask about. So there's a pretty good view of them for anyone who's interested. I have the moto built half doors. I really like them. I have the KC Flex Era 4s on my A-pillars. For seats, I am running the PRP daily driver seats. Now this is not my daily driver, but I do like the daily driver seats because they're not high bolstering on the sides. So it's easy to get in and out of the Jeep. And then for harnesses, I have the PRP 4.2 harnesses with the seat belt buckle. For my roll cage here, Nick and I hand bent this all up and we use the undercover fab cage mounts. This is made with inch and three quarter DOM tubing, 120 wall. So there's a better view of my roll cage. 
For brakes, I am running the PowerStop Z36 brakes, and then under the hood, I have the J8 brake booster. For my exhaust, it is just a Dynamax muffler with a chopped version of the factory exhaust that just dumps over the rear axle. Oh, and this is my CO2 tank. It's an off-brand power tank that Nick and I put together with just parts from Amazon, and we did use a power tank mount for it here. So it stays here, mount as my roll cage, and then after a wheeling day, I can fill up my tires. All right, I think that just about covers it. If there's anything I missed, I have a full write-up a parts list on my website that I'll link in the description box below. But if you have any questions about my Jeep build, drop a comment, I'll be glad to answer it. So a lot of my Jeep was hand-built right here. And for everything else, I put a ton of research into all the parts that I've bought for my Jeep. And I, I'm very happy with everything I run. I don't have any complaints about anything at this time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find more about my Jeep on Yeller Life on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, any social media.